guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Makani Zainab Ololade, aka Max Styles, aka Tuto Z. First of all, I want to appreciate you guys. Thank you for turning up. Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate you all. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So today, I want to explain how to cut Buba, Iro, and Buba. As we all know, Buba is a common. It's a common outfit mostly worn by yoruba women in nigeria we can call it a free blouse you can call it a free top but it's actually it's very it's very common so today i'm going to show you how to i'm going to explain and i'm going to show you how to cut actually this particular video this topic i'll be dropping two videos for this topic the cutting procedure how to cut and how to sew apart from the fact that we are going to have the english version and the yoruba version i want a situation whereby I don't want a situation whereby you're going to like you're going to be watching my video four to five times before you can get or before you can cut a particular outfit. I don't want that situation. So that's why I want to break the video into two. So thank you very much. And also I'm going to drop my number on the comment section in case you want to show me anything. Maybe this is your first time of sewing or you just want to start sewing. In case you want to show me anything, in case you want to ask any question, I'm going to drop my number in the comment section. And it is also written on the board. 081-1448-6272. 081-1448-6272. Please WhatsApp only. WhatsApp only. WhatsApp only. So, let's get started. Thank you. Please, oh, kindly manage the lightning. Like there's not been light since, since like for days now. Please, so I have to use my small ring lights, um, which is using power bank. Thank you. Buba, buba. Like I said earlier, buba is a free blouse worn mostly by Yoruba women. I it is actually very common. Now, for us to cut our buba, for us to get a perfect buba blouse, you need to you need to know the largest or the biggest part of the upper body. What do I mean by the biggest part of the upper body? That is, this is our upper body. From this side, from this side to your neck region is the upper body. So, for us to get a perfect buba blouse. You need to know the largest part of your upper body so the largest part can be your bust and the largest part can be your waist depending on the person's physique or the person's stature do you understand is not it's not a must like how would i put it it's not a must you use your bust circumference is it that you use your waist circumference or the bust circumference you, all, all what you need is the sorry <coughs> All what you need is the largest part of the upper body. Now, I'm going to use this mannequin. I'm going to measure this mannequin. I'm going to teach you how to take um, the body measurement for buba. And I'm going to explain the calculations as well. Actually, we have two types of buba. We have the fitted. I won't call it fitted like that. Let me use the word semi-fitted. We have the semi-fitted and the big buba or this yagba buba. Do you understand? So, the first thing I'm going to do now... I'm going to take i'm going to measure this mannequin just to know its largest part i want to know the largest part like the biggest part at the upper region so i'm going to check the bust first okay So this is the bust. The bust um, circumference is 30, 35. While the waist circumference is twenty eight. So definitely for this mannequin, the biggest part of the upper body is the bust area. It is the bust circumference. So the measurement needed for buba. I'm so sorry. There's no light. Please kindly manage. So measurements needed for Buba. First off, we need our bust or waist circumference. We need 
our bust or waist circumference? That is, why did I write bust or waist? I just want to be sure. Like, I want to know the largest part of the upper body. So that was why I used the word bust or waist. So after measuring your client, you'll be the one to decide the one you want to use. So the next one is my booba length. For the booba length, there's no standard measurement, but most people use this 25, but there's no standard measurement. It's better for you to ask your client, ma, what length do you want? But most people use 25 inches for their booba length. But please, the 25 inches is not standard and it is not constant. Thank you. So the next thing we are going to, we need is our sleeve length. Our booba sleeve. Our sleeve length. And the next thing is our round, is our round sleeve. So these are the measurements you need. These are the measurements you need for your booba. You need your bust or waist circumference. You need your booba length. You need your sleeve length. And you need your round sleeve. You need your round sleeve. So now I'm going to show you how to take the body measurements for booba. How to take the measurements for booba. So like I said, we have two types. We have the fitted, the semi-fitted and the non-fitted. Fine. The semi fitted, I showed you the other time. You measure the person's actual, you measure the person's actual measurement. Then you had your allowance. This is thirty-five. This is the person's. This is um. This is the mannequin's actual measurement. Do I actually reduce my hand a bit for ease? Then I'm going to add my allowance. Then I measure the waist as well. The waist is um twenty-five. I'm going to add my allowance. So definitely. The bust is the biggest part. But if I want to do non-fitted, I'm just going to measure direct. Instead of me adding extra allowances, instead of me adding allowance um, to, my, to my actual circumference, I'm just going to measure direct and ask my client, is this big enough or should I increase or is it too small? So that's the difference between semi-fitted and the non-fitted. The non-fitted, you are measuring directly. So for this, this is 42. So I'm going to measure the waist so that I can know the biggest part of the upper body. So for this, okay, this is 32. So definitely the bust is the biggest part. Then the next one is the booba length. For the booba length, you are going to place your measurement on the nape. This is called, your, sorry, your tape roof. On the nape this is called the nape this is called the nape i'm so sorry the lightning is not good but please kindly manage this is called the nape so you place your tape roll on the nape then you measure you the, the tape roll must pass like through the boss point to your desired length so you, don't do this you are not creating cup don't forget it's a free blouse it is very free it doesn't even have armor. There's no front and back. You are cutting it together. It's a freehand cutting. So don't do this. This is wrong. You are not creating cup effect. Just place your tape on the nape. Then take it. Let it pass through the bust point. Then to your desired length. So that's for the booba length. Now for the sleeve length. For booba, for booba, for the sleeve length, you place your tape at the center back. There's a bone at the center back. This bone. You place your tape roll. I don't know if you can see it. You place your tape roll on the um on the center back. From the center back, there's a bone there. You place it, then you take the tape roll this way to your desired length as well. Be it short sleeve, three quarter, or long sleeve to your desired sleeve length. Don't forget from the center back of the neck. You take your tape rule, then you measure to your desired length. So that's for the sleeve length. Then for the round sleeve, you know I said we have two types. We have the semi-fitted and the non-fitted. Now for the for the um, semi-fitted, it's better for the semi-fitted. You're going to measure the person's actual round sleeve. Then you had the allowance. I'm going to explain that. And for the non-fitted, just measure direct. Why well, prefer this? Even for both non-fitted and the semi-fitted i just prefer measuring my clients directly then i'll ask her how free or how tight he or she um she wants it to be sorry i used the word e i'm so sorry for that 
so this is how to measure then you have your allowance you do your division so do you i believe you understand the parts like the measure the measuring part the measurement part rather sorry so the next thing i'm going to do now is to show you the calculation the calculation how to calculate how to calculate because i can't just measure this direct on my fabric i need to calculate i need to divide to get my calculated answer to get my final answer your final answer is your calculated answer that is after adding after subtracting after dividing your final answer is what you are going to use to cut your fabric so let us start with the bust or waist circumference please kindly manage please i'm so sorry the bust or waist circumference that is is it i use my bust or waist now i want to explain the semi-fitted first the semi-fitted is the one that you are going to measure your actual bust circumference before adding your allowance now we measured we measured 35 right we measured our busts and we measured the mannequin's bust and the waist and we noticed that it was the bust and the bust is the largest the bust is the largest part of the mannequin's um body so we measure 35 so this 35 is either i had six or eight inches that is is either you have six in, six inches or eight inches to your actual measurement then your answer you divide your answer by four do you understand that part plus six your your circumference plus six or eight answer divided by four will give you your final answer so is this final answer you are going to use to cut your fabric now you can decide to remove your seam allowance what do i mean by seam allowance the allowance i'm going to use to join by the side you can decide to remove it from this final answer and you can still decide to add your extra allowance that is the seam allowance plus seam allowance this seam allowance is optional don't forget in case you are scared maybe this is your first time of sewing you can decide to add your seam allowance a normal like the normal inches for a seam allowance should is one inch one inch so is it that you remove your seam allowance from this final answer or you had your seam allowance which is optional the seam allowance is optional please is it that you had or you don't so if you are going to have the seam allowance definitely this is not your final answer yet so it's it's after you had your seam allowance you get your final answer and it is this final answer it's either you use this final answer or you use this to cut your fabric now let us make it realistic 35 plus 6 or 8 um i want to use i want to use 6 so i want to use 6 now that is 41 right so i'm going to divide this 41 by 4 i think that should give me 10.25 which is my final answer now i can decide to remove my seam allowance from this 10.25 and i can decide to add my seam allowance which is optional it is optional is that you remove it from this or you had it is optional so in case i want to add maybe i'm scared or this is my first time of or this is my first time of sewing plus one inch which is my seam allowance please let me put it there it is optional optional please it's not a must it's equal to 11.25 so this 11.25 now is my new final answer that is if i want to add my sewing allowance if i'm not adding my seam allowance this 10.5 is what i'm going to use so this is for so this is for the semi-fitted but if i'm doing the non-fitted directly excuse me if i'm doing the non-fitted directly 
That is when I measured the mannequin, I measured 44. 44. This is non fitted. Like I just measured straight. So I'm just going to divide this 44 by 4. Your answer. Your an 44 by 4 is equal to final answer. And I can decide to add my seam allowance, which is optional. Is it that I remove my seam allowance from um, the final answer or I had, which is optional? Now let's make it realistic. 44 divided by 4 is equal to 11. Now this 11 is my final answer. That is, this is what I'm going to use to cut my fabric. But in case, maybe if I feel like still, I, I can remove my seam allowance from this 11. And if I feel like adding, no problem. So plus my seam allowance, which is 1 inch, and it is optional, is equal to 12. So this 12 now is my new final answer. That is, if I want to add my seam allowance. I don't know if you understand that part. Please, I'm so sorry for this lightning. Please kindly manage, please. Thank you. Now the next one is... The next one is our boob balance. Our balance. So your boob balance, most people use this 25 like I explained earlier. Or you ask your clients um, the, le the length she wants. Do you understand? So your boob balance, your boob balance, our boob balance is 25, right? Plus Emin allowance. Emin allowance. examine allowance that is you know at the end of your clothes you need to tape it like you need to fold a part in so that the clothes is going to look neat so that part you are folding in is called the aiming so you need to have your aiming allowance so that after sewing you're still going to have your exact boba length so plus aiming allowance is equal to final plus aiming allowance is equal to final answer is equal to final answer I don't even understand that part. So let's make it um, realistic. 25. You can use anything for your aiming allowance. You can use 1. You can use 0 0.5 inches. You can use 2 inches. 25 plus 2 is equal to 27. The 2 inches is my aiming allowance. So this is what I'm going to use to cut my fabric. I'm going to use the 27 inches to cut my fabric. So that's for the booba length. Now for the booba sleeve. Sorry. Now for the booba sleeve. Booba sleeve length. You know, I explained the other time that you're going to start. You pr you're going to place your tape through on the center back of your neck to your desired length. That is where you the desired length you want for your booba. Now let's assume when we measured on our mannequin from the center neck. I measured 16 and that is short. I want to, I'm sorry, 20 rather. I measured 20 and that is short, a short sleeve. So 20 inches. Now I want to explain this part. This 20 inches is not the actual sleeve length because I measured from the center back of the neck. And why did I measure from the center back of the neck? I can't measure from here because for Buba, in Buba, there's no harm oh. There's no harm on like our normal, like our normal regular, our normal regular um, blouse. There's no harm on. There's no harm on in booba. So I can't measure from here. So I need to start from the center back of the neck. So after measuring, I got 20, right? Now for me to get my actual sleeve length, for me to get my actual sleeve length, that is the answer that I'm going to use to cut my fabric. In such a way that I'm still going to have that perfect measurement after sewing for me to get it. Now, whatever thing you measure from the center back of the neck, you are going to remove, <coughs> excuse me, you are going to remove your final answer, your final answer on your bust or waist circumference. That is, is it that you use your bust or waist circumference after the whole calculation? Your final answer, you are going to deduct your final answer from what you measured. From the center back of the neck. I don't know if you understand that part. If I use this 20 directly to cut my fabric. If I use it to cut my fabric directly. Then I won't be able to wear it. Because I measured from the center back. The space that is here has added extra allowance. 
to heat so if i just cut it directly like that if i fix it to my booba the sleeve will be very long like it will be longer than what i measured i don't even understand that part so i'm going to remove my final answer of my bust or waist circumference my calculated i'm going to deduct it from this 20 inches now what was our answer we used um let's use 10.25 so that is um i think we have we have 10 sorry 10.75 left i'm not really good at math i'm so sorry i'm not really good at math so this is it let's assume this is it this is our now this is our new sleeve length our new sleeve length new sleeve length this is our new sleeve length that is i removed my calculated bust or waist um measurements that is my final answer is called calculated bust or waist measurement your final answer is your calculated answer from what i measure from the center back of the neck now my answer is now my new sleeve length so it is this answer that i'm going to use i'm going to use the new answer to cut my fabric now this is our new sleeve length now then plus your aiming allowance your aiming allowance you need to have your aiming allowance where you are going to turn in just like this where you are going to turn in because you like we want that place to come out neat so you are going to you must turn it in it's, it's actually a must for you to turn it in so you need to have the allowance so that you won't remove from your actual measurement so plus your aiming allowance will give you your final answer so let's be realistic now um 10.75 plus i want to use two inches for my aiming allowance plus two so this is 12.75 so this 12.75 is what i'm going to use to cut my fabric so after cutting my fabric i'll fold in two inches for my aiming allowance then i'm still going to have my 10.75 left so now the next one is your round sleeve sorry the next one is your round sleeve your round sleeve like i explained is it a you measure your actual measurements then you had your allowance before dividing or you you measure direct but i prefer you measuring direct there's no point at uh, measuring your actual there's no point so measure direct measure your clients direct then you divide and anything that has to do with round sleeve you divide by two anything that has to do with round sleeve you divide by two anything that has to do with round sleeve you divide by two so my round sleeve let's assume i measured um 14 then i'm going to divide by two um, let me bring this down a bit so because of that um, sleeve calculation so round sleeve don't forget anything that has to do with round sleeve you divide by two is either you measure the actual um, person's actual measurements then you had your allowance or you measure direct so i prefer when you measure direct so let's assume i measured 14 for my round sleeve i'm going to divide by two which is seven then i'm going to add my same allowance i'll add my same allowance the allowance i'm going to use to join i'm going to add it so if i had one which is my same allowance my same allowance If I had one inch, which would be my same allowance, my final answer would be eight. So I'm going to use this eight. It is this eight inches I'm going to use to cut my fabric. I don't know if you understand the calculation. I believe you on let me just say I believe you understand the whole calculation um procedure. So that's for the calculation. Now I'm going to show you how to cut it on the board i'll show you how to cut it on the paper then i'll show you how to cut it on the fabric but in this video i'm going to do it on the board then in case you to in case you also want to teach someone i'm going to show you on the board then i'll show you on the paper then in my sewing procedure video i will show you how to cut it on the fabric and how to sew thank you so i want to wrap this off now um you, you can actually screenshot you can screenshot oh i want to wrap it up now thank you
now don't forget i said you are using the biggest part of the upper um of the upper body to to um to cut your fabric now for boba the first thing you are going to do is to get your fabric after getting your fabric you are going to fold your fabric into four and i can't just fold my fabric into four so definitely i need my calculated answer of the upper like of the biggest part of the upper body which can be your bust or waist so my calculated bust or waist circumference is what i'm going to use to fold my fabric into four calculated bust or waist circumference simply means your final answer after adding after dividing after subtracting your final answer it is what is what you are going to use to fold your fabric so it can be your bust and it can be your waist anyone depending on the person's um physique so let's get started let's cut okay good now let's assume this is my fabric this is my fabric Now this is my fabric. This is my fabric. I'm going to fold my fabric. Now my fabric is folded into four. Fabric folded into four. And what did I use to fold my fabric? My calculated bust or waist circumference. So what I'm trying to say is that, and again, when you fold your fabric, there will be a folded part. The folded part is called the center fold. And where is the center fold? Your center fold is at the center front. Is at the center. Your center fold is at the center front. While there's a place that will fall into pieces, and that is for the side, where the joining will be. The center fold is at the center front. Then the side that falls into pieces will be at the side where the joining will be. Now, we folded our fabric into four already, right? So definitely, a part will definitely be on fold. A part will definitely be on fold, while a part will fall into pieces. Now, this part that is on, let's assume this part is on fold. So the part that is on fold is called the center fold, and the center fold is always at the center front. Center fold. Then this is the side. This is where the joining will be. This is the center front. Now, don't forget, I use my calculated bust or waist circumference to fold my fabric. Now, what I'm trying to say is that from this center fold, the folded part to the side is my calculated, my calculated bust or waist circumference. My calculated bust, my calculated bust or waist circumference. From this place to this place is my calculated bust or waist circumference. Don't forget, my fabric is folded into four already. That is, I used this measurement, the ten point seven five, the ten point two five or the eleven point five we measured first. It's that's not constant too. That's the mannequin's measurement. That was what I used to fold my fabric. Now, so I folded my fabric. Now from this point. From this point to this point is my booba length. My booba length. My booba length. That is the 25 inches plus the 2 inches, which is for my Emin allowance, is my booba length. Now I want to indicate, I want to separate it so that you guys can understand. Now, from this point to this point is the 2 inches, which is for my aiming allowance. Right from this point to this point is the 25 inches, 
which is the main be balance so if i fold this place in i'm still going to have my 25 inches now let's assume i did not have these two inches and i removed my aiming allowance from this and i removed my animal allowance from the actual measurement so definitely i'm going to have 23 left so that's why you need to have your aiming allowance i don't know if you understand that part good then the next one is for me to bring out the neck the neck measurement i need to cut out the neck so that i'll be able to wear it now the standard neck measurement is three by three now that three by three is more or less like a guideline because the three by three sits on the collarbone this is the collarbone there's one like see the way i'm sweating it sits on the collarbone so the three by three is on the collarbone so it's more or less like a guideline it's more or less like a guideline the when the only way you can use um three by three maybe you want to draft a bishop collar or a normal shirt collar but for o and bear for buba you can't use three by three though for o and bear you are going to have a zip and maybe you like something chokey but for buba three by three can't work for everybody especially plus size i can't even use three by three so the three by three is like a guideline but i advise people you to use four by four i think four by four is actually moderate for almost everybody except the plus size but almost everybody, 4x4, four four, almost, almost, let's say 75%, 4x4 four four works for them. But the plus size, no. The plus size is no. So, I want, um, just use the 3x3 as a guideline. Then don't forget, I said almost everybody uses 4x4. Four four. Now, for freehand, Buba is freehand cutting. You are cutting directly on your fabric. You are cutting directly for, on your fabric. So for freehand cutting, if you want to cut the neck um, width and depth, you are going to deduct 0 0.5 from your measurement. You are going to deduct 0 0.5 from your measurement. Why did I say that? If I cut my 3x3 three three direct, like my normal, the normal thing I want to use is 3x3, is three three, and I'll cut it directly on my fabric. After turning, because I'm going to use facing to turn in the neck, so that it can look neat just the way we did for the aiming part i'm going to use facing to turn the neck or i use bias after sewing after turning the neck i'm like the neck will be wider by 0 0.5 so after sewing i'm going to have 3.5 by 3.5 instead of 3 by 3 i don't even understand that part so if you want to cut directly on your fabric your neck with a neck dead so you are going to remove 0 0.5 so if i want to use 3 by 3 i'm going to cut 2.5 by 2.5 so that after turning i'm going to have my 3 by 3 if i want to use 4 by 4 i'm going to cut 3.5 by 3.5 so that after sewing i'm going to have my 4 by 4 back i don't know if you understand that part so you place your tape rule so you place your tape rule on the center front this is the center fold the center fold is your center front. So you place your tape through, you measure your 3.5. You measure your 3.5. I don't know why this is not working. You measure your 3.5. You measure your 3.5 as well. Then after marking out your 3.5 by 3.5, you use your arm o curve. This is your arm o curve. You use this to connect. You use your arm hook up to connect. You use your arm hook up to connect, then you cut. You cut it out this way. Use your arm hook up to connect, then cut it out. You cut it out. So this is how to cut the body of a buba. This is how to cut the body of a buba. Then, after cutting, after cutting when you unfold i want to draw what you like what you are going to what it's going to look like i want to draw it so after unfolding you have something like this Unfolding, you have something like this. That is, after cutting out, after cutting out the neck region, and you unfold, this is what you are going to have. This is what you are going to have. So there's no front, there's no back. You'd be the one to decide where, where you want to choose as a front or as a back. There's no joining. It's a free blouse. It's a free like it's a free outfit. So there's no front and back. There's no joining. 
on the shoulder so this is what it's going to look like after cutting and after unfolding so i don't know if you understand i believe you on the you should understand yeah you will don't worry now let's move to the sleeve now let's have him i want to cut my sleeve this is my fabric right this is my fabric now meanwhile while calculating i said anything that has to do anything that has to do with sleeve you are dividing by two please note anything that has to do with sleeve you are dividing by two i'm going to say it again anything that has to do with sleeve you are dividing by two not by four now this is my fabric excuse me this is my fabric right i'm going to fold my fabric i'm going to fold my fabric into two you fold fabric fold it into two so definitely we are going to have a center fold and we are going to have a side that folds uh, like we are going to we are going to have a center fold and the other side will be in pieces now the center the folded part is your center fold the folded part is your center fold well this is the side hmm so what will I use to fold my fabric? Definitely, I'm going to use my calculated round sleeve to fold my fabric. That is, my round sleeve divided by 2, my answer plus my hemming allowance. My, so my final answer, which is my calculated round sleeve, is what I'm going to use to fold my fabric. So what am I trying to say? That is, from the center fold to the side is your calculated, your calculated round sleeve. Sorry. Is your calculated round sleeve sorry is your calculated round sleeve that is from your center fold to the side what you use to fold your fabric is your calculated round sleeve and for the length you are using your sleeve length that is your new sleeve length you know when you measured you measured from the center next to your desired length then when you wanted to get your new length because you can't use that it will be long like it will be very long after cutting so you need to get your new sleeve length so you deducted your calculated bust or waist circumference that is your final answer from what you measured from the center back to your desired length you removed it from it then your answer is your new sleeve length then you added your hemming allowance so from this point so this point is my new sleeve length plus my M allowance. New sleeve length. New sleeve length. New sleeve length plus allowance that is from this point to this point is my new sleeve length now let me just indicate it let me separate it the way i did for the bar as well so that you can understand now when we did our calculation i think we when we did our calculation we got um 10.75 right so from this point to this point is the 10.75 and this two from year to year is the two inches which is for my mean allowance so by the time i fold in these two inches i'm still going to have my 10.75 left do you understand that part so that is how to cut um that is how to cut buba now i want to show you on a paper before i show you on fabric please just take your time to watch this video i'm very sure you won't regret it especially those of you that just want to start um sewing and those of you that have interest in teaching in teaching um how to sew please can you take your time to watch this video now i'm going to show you how to cut on paper before i show you how to cut on fabric and that will be my sewing procedure video thank you Thank you. So I'm going to reduce this a bit. So there's no light oh there's no light oh please mm -hmm. 
here with me. I'm so sorry. Can you be here with me? I'm so sorry. Okay. You can see I'm using my power bank. I'm so sorry. Okay. So let's let's get started. Okay. Now this is my fabric. The paper. Yeah, I want to assume that the paper is my fabric. This is the paper now, right? So I'm going to fold my paper. I'll fold it into four. And what will I use to fold into four? My calculated bust or waist circumference. That is my final answer. So I folded into two folds. This is one, one, two. I folded into two folds. Then I'll fold into two again. So making four now. Please don't forget, you are using your calculated box for this circumference to fold into four. Please don't forget. Thank you. Now, this is one, two, three, four. Now, you, you might be wondering that why is one longer than one? Because I used my calculated box for this circumference. I don't want to waste my fabric. I can still use this side for, another, for something else. So... So I'm going to measure. Okay. Now, this is the folded part. This is the center fold. This is the center fold. And this is the side. So definitely this is where the joining will be. And this will be the center front. So the first thing I'm going to do is to cross check. Maybe what I folded is correct. So what did we use? Um, I want to use... I want to use... 10.25 i want i don't want to add my seam allowance i want to remove my seam allowance so this is 10.25 so definitely i still have excess so i'm going to adjust learn to manage your fabric please learn to manage your fabric i'm i'm going to adjust i'm going to adjust my fabric because i want to manage i'm not saying because this is people i not manage it i need to manage it only pattern drafters can actually understand. Yeah. Now, okay, so this is 10.25. So I've adjusted my paper. I've adjusted my paper. Now let's assume this is still our fabric. So from from the edge, I'm going to measure my buba length. Let's assume this is 25. 25 plus 2 inches making 27. So I've measured my 27 this way. This is my calculated bust or waist uh, measurement. This is my buba length. So, So I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to cut this out. You can see this is my fabric. This is the remaining fabric. So I can still use it for something else. So I'll keep that aside. But this is the main body. This is the main body. From this side to this side is my 10.25. From this side to this side is my um buba length my 25 inches plus my aiming allowance this is the center front this is the side where the joining will be now the next thing i'm going to do now the next thing i'm going to do is to mark out my seam is to mark out my seam allowance excuse me sorry i said my seam allowance is to mark out my neck um uh, my neck width and depth meanwhile don't forget anything that has to do with freehand you remove 0.5 from your actual measurement so that after sewing after turning in the neck you have you get your actual measurements back so i want to use 4 by 4 so i'm going to measure three um i'm going to measure 3.5 by 3.5 and don't forget 3 by 3 is a standard neck measurement but it's more or less like a guideline because it's sitting on the collarbone and not everybody can use 3.5 by 3.5 unless you want to cut a bishop collar or a shirt collar so i've marked out my 3.5 by 3.5 so i'm going to use this I'm going to use this, my arm o curve, to connect it, to bring out the shape. 
Now this is the shape. This is the shape. I don't know if you can see. So I'm so sorry. Okay, now this is the shape. Can you see? So I'm going to cut it out. Now this is it. I said there's no front, there's no back, there's no joining at the shoulder. So this is it. This is what you're going to have. This is the body. When you unfold, this is what I drew on the board. Can you see? So you can let me put it on flat. I don't know if it's going to side like this. Okay, this is it. Can you see? So after turning, after using bias of facing to turn, I'm going to have my three and uh, my four by four back. So this is it. This is how the body of Buba looks like. Let me remember it. Yeah. So that's the body. Now for the sleeve. Like I said, the sleeve as well. You are going to fold your fabric into two. And what we, what we need to fold your fabric, your calculated round sleeve. That is your round sleeve divided by two. Don't forget anything that has to do with round sleeve, you divide it by two. Then you can decide to remove your seam allowance from it or you had your seam allowance. But I prefer when you have seam allowance, yeah. And normal inches, like a normal inch for a seam allowance is one inch. One inch, please. One inch. Don't let your clients deceive you. It's one inch. Good. So you fold your fabric into two. Because you divided your round sleeve into two, you fold your fabric into two. You definitely you definitely have the folded part and the side. So this folded part is called the center fold and the side is where the joining will be. And don't forget to use your calculated round sleeve to fold your fabric. That was that was what you used to fold your fabric. Good. So what am I trying to say is that what I'm trying to say is that from this center fold to this place is my calculated round sleeve and what did we use we used like our calculation on the board i think we used eight inches so definitely i still have excess so please learn how to manage please learn how to manage your fabric learn how to manage your fabric learn how to manage so i'm going to adjust this back to the actual measurement i'll, I will adjust it back to the actual measurement so Okay, now I have I have my eight inches now. Then the sleeve length, your sleeve length is your. You are going to use your new sleeve length. That is whatever thing you measure from your center back to your desired length. You remove your calculated bust or waist circumference from it so that you can get your new sleeve length. Then you had your aiming allowance. I think we measured um. What did we use? Ten point seven five. Then we had it two inches for our aiming allowance, making. 12.75 so i'm going to mark out my 12.75 i'll mark it out 12.75 and please don't forget that 12.75 is 12 3 quarter 3 over 4 12 3 over 4 12 3 over 4 those of you that watch my instagram reading video i think you should understand that better so i'm going to mark it out now let me just explain why it's been on the board. I want to mark out the two inches for the emin allowance so that you can understand what I'm trying to say. So this is it. This is um, my calculated round sleeve and this is my new sleeve length plus my emin allowance. So I'm going to cut it out. to notch this part the center from you notch it now this is the two inches and this is our actual length and this is this is the two inches this is our actual length so by the time I fold in the two inches by the time I fold in fold in the two inches this way maybe when I want to sew I'm going to fold it in like this so I'm still going to have my 10 you know I folded the two inches in I folded it in so I'm still going to have my 10 my 10.75 do you understand that part then you join with your seam allowance so you have cutting two of this 
and that's all for now so in my sewing procedure i'll show you how to cut off on the fabric so in case you want to show me anything i'm going to drop my number on the comment section what's up on the please maybe you can also try it on the pipe this is your first time you show me if there's any correction i'm going to correct you see the way i'm sweating there is no light in nigeria thank you very much thank you for watching god bless you don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel bye